In the late morning hours of November 11, 1918, the 28th Northwest Battalion, 6th Canadian Infantry Brigade, under heavy German machine gun fire, crossed the Canal du Centre into the Belgian town of ville sur -Hanne. The patrol, intent on finding the machine gunner who had harassed them during the crossing, moved toward a row of houses along the canal. They entered the first home, only to discover the Germans had fled up the back. The patrol pursued to the neighboring house, but again they were too late. The Germans had fled. A 25-year-old Canadian soldier stepped out of the house onto the street and was fatally shot in the heart by a German sniper. His name was George Lawrence Price. The time was 10.58 a.m., two minutes before the 11 o'clock a.m. armistice ceasefire to end the Great War. Born and raised in Falmouth, Nova Scotia, George Lawrence Price was laid to rest at the St. Symphorian Military Cemetery just southeast of Mon in Belgium. In 1968, at the 50th anniversary of his death, surviving members of his battalion erected a plaque near the spot where he fell, which read, To the memory of 256-265, Private George Lawrence Price, 28th Northwest Battalion, 6th Canadian Infantry Brigade, 2nd Canadian Division, killed in action near this spot at 10.58 hours, November 11, 1918 the last Canadian soldier to die on the Western Front in the First World War, erected by his comrades November 11, 1968. This November 11, please take a moment to remember all those who have fallen. <laughs>